Let's examine this question here on curvature. Look at the description of this video for a good definition on curvature, but very quickly, curvature is the rate at change of your direction of your curve at a particular point to the rate at which the arc length changes at that particular point. Again, the change in your direction to the change of your arc length at a particular point on a curve, that is curvature. What is the curvature of this? y squared equals 12x at the origin. You know you're looking at a form y square is equal to 4px, a right-facing parabola, where you know clearly the p-value here is 3, because 4 times that 3 will give you this 12. I have a focal point at 3, 0. Anyhow, what's the curvature of this fu this expression here? I was going to say function is not a function of this expression here at the origin. How do we do it? If I were to take this expression right here, y square equals 12x, I'll solve for x. I have a y square over 12. If I were to do a first order derivative, now look, I'm doing dx over dy. What do I have? A 2y over 12, which is a y over 6. If I were to do a second order derivative, what do I have here? I'll do the derivative of this. It'll be a 1 over 6. Your representation, if it's a function, would have been dy over dx, and you're doing the derivative of that. Here I have a non-function, so I'm doing dx over dy. I solved my expression for x, and I'm doing the derivative from there. Your curvature... A formula changes based on whether it was a dy or dx or dx or dy. But very quickly, your formula is this minus d square x or dx dy squared. This is your second order derivative divided by 1 plus dx over dy. This is whole square all to the power of 3 over 2. Now look how the formula changes if you're doing curvature of a function. You would have here a d square y over dx squared. There's no minus sign here. But then you'll have 1 plus dy over dx this here is a square all to the power of 3 or 2. You're seeing the minor difference. There's not a minus here, there's here. And what else do you have? You're looking at dy or dx here, you're looking at dx's or dy. Those are the differences. This right here is our formula because we have representation dx or dy. And I have the values here. My second order derivative in terms of the curvature is what? Minus 1 or 6 divided by 1 plus your first order derivative coming here, y or 6 whole square to the power of 3 or 2. I need a value of this y. How do I get it? I'm doing the curvature evaluation here at the origin. The y value here is 0. If I put 0 over here, I have 1 plus 0 squared, which is a 1. 1 to the power of 3 or 2, all of this is equal to 1. My end result is here, only the numerator value, and it's going to be minus 1 or 6. This indeed is the curvature of this expression at the origin. Again, curvature is the rate at which the direction changes of your curve at a particular point to the rate at which your arc length is changing at that particular point. The end result here, minus 1 or 6 is good. And you have to be wary of these nuances. Here you have a k formula which is slightly different. Here you have another k formula which is different based on a function or a non-function. This end result here is good.